grilling, of course. This is the time of the year. Yeah, exactly, to be grilling, but it was too hot to be out on the patio with yeah. the grill. Well, whether, <laughs> whether cooking a gas or charcoal <laughs> grill or, or smoker in the backyard or in a studio, tailgating perhaps, <laughs> the cooking method provides maximum flavor and optimal tenderness. Hello, Angie. Angie Horkin from the Wisconsin Beef Council is here. How are you doing? I feel like a loser. It's what? too hot to be outside. That's fine. <laughs> We're not mad about okay, it. Good. No, and everybody can, it's wafting through the building. Yeah. I always so. travel with my indoor grill just in case Perfect. it's raining or it's super, super hot. Ready for parties. Right. Yes. It was yes. sizzling all throughout the show. It I was know. like we were at a restaurant and someone ordered fajitas. <laughs> and you're like, right. I want to go over there. Right. So yeah. what are you making today? So I have two brand new um, recipes for the grill created by our culinary experts at the checkoff. And let's start with this one. So this is a grilled flat iron steak. Um, like we were talking about earlier, flat iron is super on the grill. It's the second most tender cut behind the tenderloin. Um, not as popular and also not as expensive as a tenderloin. It's a little more economical. And um, it's very forgiving maybe if you have um, people that you're grilling for that like their steak more well mm -hmm. done because um, it's full of marbling and full of juiciness. You see how thick it is? Um, so maybe if your whole crowd doesn't want a medium rare steak, a little more medium to well done, this would be a good option. Yeah. Oh, that's crowd great. pleaser. And it yeah. takes a little bit longer to cook on the grill, it right? It does. It, it'll, it takes a while. It took about twice as long as the top sirloin, and they're about the same thickness. But. Okay. So the, the spice blend on this is what we're smelling. It's called the Bear Beret mm -hmm. Spice Blend, so an African kind of inspired blend. It has granulated garlic, chili powder, coriander, cardamom, nutmeg, and allspice. Yeah. You can smell that. Yeah, that a kind of dry spice. Yeah. Cinnamon, yeah. a little ginger. Um, I've never made a recipe like this, a spice rub like this, with a steak, but it's very good. Yeah. Um, it's so different. So you just put your rub on your steak, grill it, and you're good to go. And then the recipe on the website says to do a little eggplant with it, and then maybe some pita bread or some other Greek kind of flavors. Delicious. So, so quick tacos. So these are ancho chili spice street tacos. So I took a top sirloin. Um, Grilled that up with some ancho chili butter, garlic, it's on the website. And then the fun thing about this recipe is there's a pineapple salsa to go with, and Ooh. you can grill pineapple slices right along with your steak. Oh, that's a good idea. So you have like yeah. the sweet and savory going you do. on. Yes, yeah, so you got grilled pineapple, red onion, red tomato, cilantro, a little lime juice, then a jalapeno cream. So I took one avocado and threw it in a food processor mm -hmm. with a little bit of sour cream and one jalapeno. And the jalapeno is raw. I okay. didn't grill it or anything. And then I think a little bit of lime juice too in there. That's so, a nice combination yeah. with the smoothness of and the avocado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's really good. So you can make that and top that. Um, add some more Mexican cheese, some more cilantro, whatever you like. That's the beauty of tacos or fajitos, right? And as we've seen, you can make them inside. <laughs> and you can make them inside anywhere. And of course, these recipes could be made in a mm -hmm. skillet, a nice cast iron skillet on the stovetop or any kind of skillet. They're versatile. Yeah. So beeftips.com is our Wisconsin Beef Council website. Check that out. Um, click on As Seen on TV. You'll find these these recipes um, thoroughly. We kind of skimmed over them here because they uh, kind of a lot going on, but um, otherwise we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Follow yeah. us and fantastic like recipes. And get Try grilling for the summer. Get grilling. July's National Grilling Month. Still got a little bit of time. <laughs> so if it cools off, we'll meet you back outside. Well, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Someday. And now here come the thundering herds from the newsroom because <laughs> yep. they've been smelling it for an hour. Great to see you, Angie. We'll see you Yay. next time. Thank